हेलो वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम 3.37 सो स्टेटमेंट इज द रिजिड बीम रेस्ट इन हॉरिजॉन्टल पोजीशन ऑन टू 2014 थाउजेंड एल्युमिनियम सिलेंडर हैविंग अनलोडेड लेंस शोन इफ द सिलेंडर हैज अ डायमीटर ऑफ 30 मिलीमीटर डिटरमाइन द प्लेसमेंट एक्स ऑफ अप्लाइड 80 किलो न्यूटन लोड सो दैट बीम रिमेंस हॉरिजॉन्टल व्हाट इज द न्यू डायमीटर ऑफ ई सिलेंडर the load is applied uh, the nu of aluminum is 0.35 so you can see this is the beam that is rest on this cylinder a and this cylinder b the length of this cylinder is 220 mm and the length of this cylinder is 210 so total length of the beam is 3 m so what uh, you have to find you have to find the placement of this load over a distance of x and the new diameter of cylinder a after the load is applied so i have a, i have written the given data rigid beam rest on horizontal position of aluminum cylinder length of cylinder a is this while b is this and diameter of each cylinder is 30 mm the load is 80 kN and nu is 0.35 the modulus of rigidity for aluminum cylinder 2014 t6 is 73.1 into 10 to the power 9 gigapascal so you have to find the new cylinder diameter as well as you have to find the uh, placement load as well uh, so you have to find the new cylinder diameter and this x distance as well so let's start with the solution now you know that this cylinder is rest on this uh, beam rest on cylinder a so definitely there will be a reaction force at point a and b so if we remove this uh, cylinder so i will draw the free body diagram so let this is the beam clear and this is the load that is applied over the beam and this load is 80 kN this distance is x the reaction force at point a is r a and reaction force at point b is r b clear the total length is 3 meter this length is 3 meter so this is x so this will be 3 minus x so let's move and we will find this reaction force at point a and point b for that you have to apply the equilibrium condition the first equilibrium condition is that sum of all movement about point a is equal to 0 and taking the counter clockwise movement as positive so you can check here that movement at point a will be due to this load rb and the perpendicular distance is 3 and the second movement is due to 80 kN and perpendicular distance is x so we will write them rb into perpendicular distance is 3 and this is producing counter clockwise and minus 80 into perpendicular distance is x so when you solve it you will get rb will be equal to 80x over 3 this is rb now we will move toward finding the reaction support at point reaction force at point b so for that we will uh, we will take the sum of all moment about point b is equal to 0 and taking the counter clockwise moment as positive now we are taking moment sum of moment about point b so first moment is due to r a into perpendicular distance is this and second force is this 80 and perpendicular distance is 3 minus x so we will write them as well so r a into perpendicular distance is 3 and this is producing clockwise so it will be negative plus 80 into perpendicular distance is 3 minus x so their sum must be equal to 0 so from here you will get this r a will be equal to 80 into 3 minus x divided by 3 so this is the value of r a now we know this r a and r b so we will move toward further also in our question it is given that beam is held horizontally beam is held 
horizontally so what does it mean it means that due to this load the beam will also exert a force on this uh, cylinder a and cylinder b clear so the it means that deflection or uh, deflection in or you can say change in length of a will be equal to change in length of b why both are same because it is given that beam is held horizontally okay we know that uh, stress is equal to load per unit area and also we know that stress is equal to e into epsilon so from here we know that epsilon which is strain is equal to stress divided by e so if we put the stress value which is equal to p over a divided by e so it will become equal to p divided by p divided by a into e now we also know that uh, strain is equal to change in length divided by original length so from here you can get change in length is equal to strain into length so you have strain this so p into l divided by a into e so your change in length is equal to p into l divided by a into e okay from our this statement that beam is held horizontally so strain in a is equal to uh, deflection or uh, change in length in a is equal to change in length in b we will use this equation and we will uh, further solve our problem so it is given that strain uh, change in length in a is equal to change in length in b so change in length in a is equal to p into l a divided by a into e since material is same and diameter is same so area will remain same so p into l b divided by a into e now you can see that we have p p a and p b force in a and b which is this is which is this one because we are talking about this cylinder so on this cylinder we have the reaction load which is equal to p a and this will be p b and p a is equal to this one and p b will be equal to this one so let's put the value we know that uh, p a is this 80 into 3 minus x divided by 3 so 80 into 3 minus x divided by 3 into a e is equal to p b and p b is 80 into x divided by 3 so 80 into x l b divided by a into e let me check there is 3 as well okay and here we have l a okay so this term will cancel with this so and 80 will cancel with this and we have the value of 3 minus x l a is equal to 220 that is given in given data is equal to x into 210 okay so when you solve it you will get the value of x will be equal to you will get the value of x is equal to 1.53 meter so at a distance of 1.53 meter you have to 1.53 meter you have to load apply a load of 80k so that this beam remains horizontal now we will further move to find the new diameter of this beam so we know that now we know that x is equal to 1.53 
so put this x value in this equation r a so we will put r a will be equal to a t into 3 minus x divided by 3 so put the value 30 into 3 minus 1.53 divided by 3 and it will give you 39.07 kilo newton now you have this r a we know that stress in a will be in cylinder a will be equal to r a divided by area of cylinder a uh, clear so you have to put the value 39.07 into 10 to the power 3 divided by area so it diameter is 30 millimeters so pi by 4 into d square and this 30 millimeter in term of meter it will be 0 0.03 whole square so from here you will get the stress comes out to be 55.27 mega pascal now you have stress you can calculate the uh, Long, uh, longitudinal strain because we know that stress A is equal to longitudinal strain A into E so from here you will get longitudinal strain will be equal to stress A divided by E you can put the value okay so you can see that uh, this stress is 55.27 mega pascal so 55.27 in trans power 6 divided by e of aluminium alloy is 73.1 into 10 to power 9 as this stress is compressive so it will be negative how it is how it will be compressive the the cylinder exert a force on this beam in in return the beam will also exert the same force on cylinder there so that why it is compressive so due to this load the length of this beam will reduce clear so this is the cylinder there is a compressive load so definitely length will reduce while diameter will increase so we are interested to find out this increase okay so from here you will get that longitudinal strain comes out to be minus zero point triple zero seven five six now you have this longitudinal strain you you know you have the uh, nu that is equal to minus lateral strain over longitudinal strain and longitudinal strain is this one you have nu value as well so from here you will get lateral strain will be equal to minus nu times longitudinal strain so you have to put the value minus 0.35 new value 0.35 and this value salon uh, a is 0.000756 so you will get the lateral strain and this lateral strain comes out to be 0 0.000246 okay now from this lateral strain we will get the new diameter as we know that lateral strain is equal to original uh, final diameter minus original diameter divided by original diameter and final diameter of this is da dash minus original diameter is da divided by da so from here you will get uh, you are interested in finding this so we will get epsilon lateral into da plus da is equal to da dash which is new diameter so new diameter da dash will be equal to da plus lateral strain into da you have to put the value we know that original diameter is 30 while lateral strain is this one 0 0.000246 into original diameter d and that will be equal to new diameter so da final diameter comes out to be 
ज़ीरो ज़ीरो एट मिलीमीटर सो दिस इज़ द आंसर सो ड्यू टू दैट लोड द लेंथ ऑफ दिस सिलेंडर विल डिक्रीज एंड द डायमीटर विल इंक्रीज एंड न्यू डायमीटर डी ए डैश विल बी इक्वल टू थर्टी पॉइंट ज़ीरो ज़ीरो एट मिलीमीटर I hope you have enjoyed this video again if you have any question you can ask me in comment section and please do subscribe my channel and keep watching thank you